In late 1995 or early 1996, the South Central Pennsylvania area used to broadcast an obscure and offbeat low-quality commercial for the sandwich franchise Subway. Sadly, this strange and unusual commercial has been lost, and this mystery has grown cold. In this video, we're going to explore and hopefully shed some light onto this mystery that is the lost Subway commercial. I'm your host, Baron Julius Von Brunk, and this is Absurd Mysteries. Hey kids, it's TV's Baron Von Brunk, and in this video, I'm going to dig deep and bring some more exposure to a rare and obscure 1990s television commercial advertisement, which unfortunately, very few people seem to remember except for me. Therefore, the purpose of this video is to hopefully conjure up the memories of other people who seem to recall this commercial. Perhaps you have in your possession a VHS tape with commercials recorded on it, and coincidentally, this commercial appears to be on that tape. Maybe you're a marketing rep from Subway, Perhaps you can actually dig into your company's archives to find this commercial yourself. Or maybe even you were a cast or crew member of this commercial's production team, and you can actually shed some light on this subject. In this video, I'm going to describe my memory of the commercial itself, and then provide for you the synopsis based on my own recollection. And finally, as a bonus, I have reenacted the plot and duration of this commercial, based solely on my own memory. So stick around for the last chapter of this video, to see a LEGO puppet show. I can vividly recall that back in the mid-1990s when I was in the fifth grade, our local television stations would air a very bizarre and strange commercial for Subway, which for unknown reasons had a very incredibly low production quality, despite Subway being a national, ubiquitous fast food franchise. To this very day, few people seem to remember this commercial, and my extensive searches on the internet has yielded zero results. From what I recall, this commercial was shot with extremely low budget conditions, with amateur actors, and had a production quality akin to that of a local business advertisement, or public access. This commercial was also shot on video instead of film, which was strange considering how big of a company Subway is. In retrospect, it's my theory that this was not a nationally broadcasted commercial, and instead was a locally produced commercial that was intended to promote the launch of new Subway franchises in our Tri-County area. In other words, I don't think this commercial was made by Subway to air across the country like their normal promotions, but rather, perhaps some local Subway franchises in our area got permission to record their own ad. I recall the commercial had a setting of cheap mountainous scenery, I believe there was either a fog machine or dry ice to create the effect of mist. Now the commercial started off with a bald, middle-aged man, groveling in front of a character who was supposed to be a wise sage. The bald man refers to the wise sage as the Great Seer, and asks him to show him the ways of truth and perfection. In fact, the pun is that the bald man says that he hungers for perfection. The wise sage tells the bald man that perfection can be his, if he takes his hunger to Subway Subs. The camera then does an awkward close-up shot of the bald man, who has a confused look on his face, and questions, Subway Subs? Now a quick note I want to make is the absurdity of both men saying Subway Subs as opposed to just saying Subway, which even as a kid I found that to be very peculiar. And then throughout the middle of the commercial, there were close-up shots of Subway sandwiches, along with a voiceover that describes Subway as the being enlightened and the path to truth and perfection. In fact, I recall that the word perfection appeared on the screen and then dissolved with a cheap animation effect. And finally, the best part of the commercial is at the very end, when the bald man, in a very excited tone, says, Subway! Takes a huge bite of the sandwich, and then proclaims, mm! with a really weird look on his face. <laughs> in fact, this particular line right here was a part that my friends and I would usually quote in elementary school. For example, let's say, during lunch, my mom would pack me a turkey sandwich. I would hold it up in front of my friends and say, Subway! Take a bite and go, mm! And that was kind of a reoccurring inside joke that we all had. From what I remember for his description, I recall the bald man was Caucasian but had somewhat of an ethnic Mediterranean look to him, such as olive skin, a big mustache, and bushy eyebrows, as in he was possibly Greek or Turkish or even Arab. He also had really big bug eyes, which made him look especially comical when he got excited from taking a bite of a sandwich. As for the wise sage, I remember him looking like a stereotypical Indian guru. I believe he was dressed in a robe like Gandalf the Grey and had a big fake beard like a mall Santa Claus. He also had a high-pitched voice and talked kind of fast. Again, this commercial was shot with incredibly low production quality, as in it was made for a local Subway franchise, and not the actual chain of restaurants itself. Also, I'm personally from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, so I'm assuming that this commercial was meant to be aired throughout that area, such as Lancaster, York, Harrisburg, Lebanon, Reading, etc. Maybe even Baltimore and Philadelphia, too. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, when I use my skills of stop-motion animation and building Lego puppets to try to reenact the commercial synopsis based solely on my own memory. 
O oh, great seer, oracle of wisdom, bringer of truth, I hunger for perfection. Well, perfection can be yours. Take your hunger to Subway Subs. Subway Subs? Stop into your local Subway restaurant today and try one of our new mouth-watering sandwiches, each with freshly baked bread and an assortment of delicious toppings. It's the truth that our tasty meat selection consists only of the best variety. With each sandwich handcrafted and delightfully prepared, you can truly taste the perfection. Subway! So that's my best interpretation of what the commercial was like, albeit I made some substitutions were applicable. I truly believe this commercial actually existed, and despite airing when I was 11 years old, I'm not going to attribute this absurd premise to my rampant childhood imagination. I also don't want to open up any cans of worms and debate conspiracy theories with the dubious notion of the Mandela Effect, so please, don't devolve the comment section to an unironic discussion about how this commercial only existed in a parallel dimension, and that sometime after 1996, I must have fallen into a wormhole and got sucked into another universe. Now, I'm making a personal appeal to you, the people of YouTube, to like and share this video so that I can gain more exposure. Perhaps somebody with a videotape might have this commercial recorded on it, or maybe an employee from Subway can help locate this commercial itself. Or, for all we know, a member of the commercial's production team might stumble upon this video on YouTube and hopefully shed some more light on this strange mystery. I can't really think of a definite form of monetary compensation for the bounty of retrieving this lost commercial. In other words, I can't really think of an exact dollar amount that I can give to somebody if they actually find this footage for real. However, I can instead reward you by letting you keep one of my original LEGO creations. Perhaps I can even build you a custom one as well. Like a mosaic sprite lamp, or a sculpture of your own head. So thanks for taking the time to check out this video, and please share it on social media so we can shed some more light on this strange mystery. Also be sure to check out these other videos of mine to see some more LEGO demonstrations and animations.